Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth weekly edition of CNC Comics Special Comic Con Edition. I, of course, am your host, Caleb Johnston, and I am here with my co host, Cameron. Cameron, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, man. You ready to talk about some comics? I'm ready. I'm always ready for that. Well, this was a fucking crazy week because of Comic-Con. Yeah. So much shit happened that we literally had to cut out, like, ten stories. <laughs> like, seriously, legit, we had, like, twenty stories. Uh, so let's go into the first little bit of news we got here. So it's this is before Comic-Con officially started. So it's rumored that Joaquin Phoenix... He's in talks to play Doctor Strange. How fucking awesome does that sound? It sounds amazing. See, we've been talking about who should play Doctor Strange for a while now, and I know me and you have kind of said, like, John Hamm or Johnny Depp or someone like that. Yeah. Okay, granted, John Hamm and Johnny Depp are two completely different actors, but really, I love the idea of Joaquin Phoenix oh, yeah, as exactly. Doctor Strange. Imagine him wearing the Doctor Strange outfit, giving spells and shit. <laughs> No, I really do. The thing I love the most about it is in a Doctor Strange movie, you got to enter. Doctor Strange was a dick before he broke his hands. Oh yeah. And a bit, yeah, exactly. Cameron, you, you recently watched the animated movie, didn't you? Yeah, he turned down a little child for medical help. Yeah, the dude Fun. was the dude was a fucking scumbag. Yeah. And then of course he gets injured and finds the uh, it's the ancient one, correct? Yeah. It's been so long since I've read anything about his origin story. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the, the Ancient One. And so that whole shit happens, and he gets himself fixed, and he becomes the Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange. Imagine Joaquin Phoenix being a dick for the first 20 minutes of the movie. Amazing. It sounds odd, because I know Joaquin can pull it off. Yeah. Remember whenever he pretended to be insane for a few months? Uh, how can I forget that? That was amazing. Whenever he would go into interviews and just act fucking nuts. <laughs> no, I think Joaquin Phoenix is quite possibly the best casting choice you can have as Doctor Strange. <sighs> I really, really love it. I, I cannot express how much I love this concept. What I want from him is to wear a cowboy hat as Doctor Strange and we get Doctor Cash. It's a walk the line and Doctor Strange hybrid. That's what I want. I like that idea. Yeah. That would be a very interesting concept. And another thing, people people really want Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. I don't know if I like that. I don't want Doctor Strange to be British. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Granted, I love Doctor... I love Benedict Cumberbatch, but like, I don't see him... At, I think there's a place for Benedict Cumberbatch in DC or Marvel, but I do not think that... I think he would better play a villain. Benedict Cumberbatch should be uh, Xavier, Professor X. That's what he should be. Well, the, the thing is, I would love that, but we already have one. We have, I know, we already have one who is awesome. Yeah, we have James McAvoy and Patrick Stewart, so we don't need a third Xavier. But if uh, James was were to ever die, you have Benedict on speed now. Yes, I agree with that. And one thing, too, is they can easily say James McAvoy and Benedict Cumberbatch are the same person. Yeah. They look similar enough. <laughs> to agree. And weren't they both on Doctor Who? Um, I can't say. Am I just being completely racist to British people by saying that? Possibly. I know James McAvoy, I think he was, but I don't think Benedict Cumberbatch was. I think I'm just being stupid. Yeah. Um... Moving on to the news from last week that I fucking missed, and I cannot believe I missed this, Cameron, as I was telling you about this. In Arkham Knight, I, I almost said Asylum, then I almost said City. In Arkham Knight, not only will Harley Quinn be pre-order DLC, but Cameron, a guy we both love so much, Jason Todd, the Red Hood, will be DLC. Yeah. Pre-order bonus. That's amazing. It is fucking badass, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Does this disprove him being the Arkham Knight? I don't. I don't. I don't say no. I don't. I don't say. I don't say it does. It. See, I think it does because he's gonna mix into the story as Red Hood, because you're gonna have playable missions as him. So, I, I but, think. Okay, Red Hood's missions could be after the main storyline. 
Or before. Before or after. In case, you know, he dies. Or Batman dies or something. You never know. This is not a spoiler. The game hasn't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think, don't you agree Damian Wayne is probably who it is? Probably, yes. It's totally Damien. Which, uh, and it, but the only thing is, are they going to have two DC games in the span of a couple years where someone is Damien? Probably. Yeah, good point. I love Injustice. <laughs> That's not a spoiler anymore. That game came out a year ago, right? It is a spoiler. It is? Yes. I didn't say who Damien is. Hmm. Oh. It's let's pretty see, obvious. If I narrow down the list, I'm pretty sure I could say who it is. He was Sinestro, obviously. <laughs> But I will say this, though, is his ending in the game is amazing. Have you seen it yet? Yes. It's awesome. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. oh it does involve Sinestro, actually. Well, that's <laughs> a spoiler. That is, for fuck's sake, the game came out a year ago. Okay, I mean, can I just... still new. That's still new. That's, that's a good point. Okay. Well, I, didn't, I still haven't said what character he was, even though it's extremely obvious. <laughs> um, okay, should we go into the next subject? Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is already confirmed. That's legit. A month ago is when they were saying there's never going to be a Guardian sequel. I mean, they're going to sh- probably show up in the Avengers at some point in that phase three. We might get a Planet Hulk crossover, but we're not getting a sequel. And then at Comic-Con, they show the Guardians logo, and then they put a little stamp of a two on it. And then they gave a fucking release date, which is one of the release dates Marvel came out with. Last week that we were talking about. I say Guardians 2 is going to be Planet Hulk. But do you? But I think they're going to have that be a separate movie. I don't think so. I, you think it's going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Planet Hulk? Yeah. I, see, the thing is, I, would, I think they'd more do... Because if, if they have Planet Hulk in a Guardians of the Galaxy movie then they have to give Hulk more of a story. So that's the reason I see if they do a Planet Hulk movie, they bring in the Guardians because it's mostly about Hulk. You get what I'm saying? Do people want to go see just a movie with Hulk, though? Planet Hulk is a great storyline. I'm not talking about the storyline. I'm saying with the known history of Hulk movies. But it's Hulk in space, and it's post-Avengers Hulk. So? Every single character has a higher pay, or not not pay, they have a higher stock since the Avengers. Look at Thor. Thor, if I'm correct, Thor the Dark World made a lot more money than Thor did. Because people give a shit about Thor now. Uh, for, uh. Granted, Thor is a much better character than the Hulk. It's no, it's common knowledge that me and you are not huge Hulk fans. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's, I do think his stock is higher, so I do think it could work, and I'm honestly behind it. Really, though? Yeah, I think Hulk's stock has risen. I honestly I, think I, the so Avengers I has risen his stock. I say it's at the same. I say it's at the same level it's always been. I don't know. The only thing I will say, though, is Edward Norton wouldn't be playing in this time, and that was probably the main reason people saw The Incredible Hulk. What I would go see a She-Hulk movie. Would, no one would go see a She-Hulk I would be the movie. first one in line. People would go see a She-Hulk. You're talking, you're, really, you're talking about small stocks. She-Hulk has the smallest stock possible. That's mean. That's, it's not mean. You I have love lower she- characters than She-Hulk. Okay, Squirrel Girl. Okay, I, okay. I'm using Whoa. bad examples of movie, of characters I do love. But okay, for, Do you honestly think they would make a Squirrel Girl movie? Yes! Dude, that would be an amazing comedy. Why would they make it? Okay, Squirrel Girl would be a f- okay. They should do Agents of Shield. If Peggy fucking Carter can get a stupid show on ABC, maybe Squirrel Girl can too. Or put her in Agents of Shield and do something. Like you I don't think she needs her. Be an amazing comedy. Maybe <laughs> you can you can do a mashup with Ant Man and Squirrel Girl. That would be hilarious. The Animal Avengers. We just came up with an amazing idea, didn't we? We did. Don't try Ant Man and Squirrel Girl. Don't try to use it, anyone. But don't ants and squirrels like? I don't think they get along. They're like two different species. Like it's an insect and a mammal. That's part of the fun. A oh, good point. And then we get to see Paul Rudd have sex with whoever is playing Squirrel. Who do you want to play Squirrel Girl? Jennifer Carpenter. 
That is a horrible idea. Really? For... Wouldn't you not like Oh her? my god, oh my god, I'm thinking of a different Jennifer. I'm thinking of Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Carpenter would be a good school girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take back what I said. I completely thought you meant Aniston. I am so sorry. <sighs> I am so sorry. Nobody told me it was going to be this way. Let's move to another um, topic. Did you catch my friend's reference? Yes. Okay, so I you didn't know about this until like right before we started recording. I didn't. The Thing. We have a first look at what The Thing is going to look like. It's basically his head and then his like shoulders and whatnot. It's the model of it. We haven't you know seen anything. This is the most we've seen from this movie so far. Yeah. And... Carrot, what is your first impression of this? Awesome. I love it. He's first of all, his design is way better than the movie that didn't come out in the nineties. It's ten times better than even though I've admitted and gone on record and said I like his design from the other movies. In the Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Silver Surface shit. Yeah. In those shitty movies, he looked fine. But this is what he should look like. Yes. And granted, people are saying, he's not orange. Do you motherfuckers, it's a first look. They can paint it orange for fuck's sake. <laughs> if you're building a prop, it's not that color the second you build it. Like, calm when down. When, ha when have you built a prop? You don't work for Marvel. You don't know their I, chain, of, uh, chain of command. I, I do not, but I am a fan of Aubrey Sanderson. So, just maybe I do understand. No. But he doesn't work for Marvel anymore, so maybe that's an incorrect statement. <laughs> he should. Why? I need to look into why he doesn't work there anymore. He probably just left. But it was probably two K or something. But um, speaking of off of Aubrey Sanderson shit, I think the thing looks fine. I think he looks amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he moves around. And I'm looking forward to seeing the guy who plays him play him. Yeah. Is there anything else that needs to be said about this besides it looks great? No. Also, I will say this. I will go on record and say this. I think that this Fantastic Four reboot is going to shock people. I think it's going to be good. I feel it's going to shock me, too. I want it to be amazing. Yeah. So, next up, we've got this. I don't really know why I kept this news in. This is kind of more of the animated DC universe. And, as you know, Cameron, they DC has a knack for making amazing animated movies. Oh, yeah. Um, so you, you know Son of Batman, right? Yeah. How would you like a sequel called Batman and Robin? Uh, does Robin get raped? Uh, if you want to see Robin get, uh, raped with a pipe, that would be Under the Red Hood. I'm sorry, Crowbar. Under the Red Hood. But, um, this will be Damien, of course, and I'm not, I don't believe Red Hood will be in it. And Are you comes and rapes Robin. Why would he rape Robin whenever? Wait, wait. I guess he could. Him and Speedy could like double. Never mind. Whoa, uh, whoa. No, that's a, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my sentence now because that sounded extremely bad. I was going to say Red Hood and Speedy could always just continue to double team Starfire, which I don't believe is confirmed, or at least where I am in Red Hood and the Outlaws. But I, I was not referencing them both uh, doing things to Damien at the same time. That would be wrong. <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, I, I like this. I have not watched Son of Batman yet, but have I I've told you about the clips I've watched of it, right? Yeah. Really, there is literally a scene in it where Dick is like, after all those times, he warned me about safety. He was basically referencing condom usage. It was awesome. <laughs> um, no, and I will say the voice actor for Damien is amazing. Really? Yes, I, I love it. You, we need to have a viewing session of Son of Batman sometime. Um, sure. It, it'd be uh, We should review it. We should start reviewing more animated things. We've only reviewed one animated thing. Well, I have gave you suggestions of animated things. You said anime, not I said animated. animated. I'm, I'm giving you both. I'm not reviewing... I'm not... What, what is that drag racing anime you were wanting me to watch? It's not drag racing. Get your, get your info correct. Wait, what is it? Drifting. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Initial D? Yes. Yeah. Should I be watching Attack on Titan? Uh, I don't know. We'll talk I've about this later. Okay, yeah, this is not an anime podcast. It should be, though. Maybe one day when I've watched more anime and know shit about it, we can have an anime podcast. Yeah. 
Um, and then the other bit of news for the uh, DC animated universe is Justice League Gods and Monsters. Awesome title. And probably going to have a lot of Wonder Woman backstory. I would assume. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I like I like. Yeah, that could be cool. And one thing, too, is people underestimate that Wonder Woman has a super underrated villain named Ares. Yeah. Who is oh, awesome. Yeah. He's a lot cooler than the Ares in Marvel. And that's not some Marvel versus DC thing. It's just I like him more. He's badass and evil and shit. I love it. Um, so is there anything else that needs to be said about this? I actually have no information on it. No. Okay, well, it's just a thing that's happening. So we finally oh, had no, our... No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to say one okay. thing about Wonder Woman. Should okay. she be a lesbian? Why would Wonder Woman be a lesbian? Oh my god, you're right. Right? Yeah, because she was raised around only women. Yeah. That's a good point. And Maybe this she should be. is what I think about in my spare time. Exactly. <laughs> so speaking of Wonder Woman, uh, we got our first look of Gail... Ga- is it Gail Godot? Because I've been saying Gal Gadot. Is Gail Godot, right? I'm not sure. It's it's Godot. I know it's Godot, but it's either Gal or Gail. Well, I'm sure it's Gail. Why would you name someone Gal? Gail Godot. You okay, so... Gal in the South. Gal. Well, yeah, this is true, but, like, not as a name. Why would your name be Gal? Yeah. Okay, but, um, so we got our first look of... of oh, my fuck. We have our first look of Gal... Gail... Okay, for, for fuck's sake, we have our first look at Wonder Woman and Batman vs. <laughs> Cameron, you had some interesting opinions on this, so why don't you give them to me? I love the look, but for people... Okay, because... I, we don't know if they're going to directly call her Wonder Woman in the movie, right? Yeah. What if they say uh, Gail, whatever? How will people know that's Wonder Woman? I say they should have added just a little bit more of a pop to the reds and blues. Not a big pop, but just a little bit so people wouldn't know who that is. Wait, are you really going to say that people aren't going to know it's obvious that it's Wonder Woman? There are stupid people in the world. That's a good point. I'm, I'm, I'm thing- just saying, there are stupid people in the world who's going to say, oh, Batman and Superman, and they're only going for those two people, and they don't know who Wonder Woman would be. I'm and they're going to be like, what is Xena Warrior Princess doing here? Yes. But And I've seen that comparison, and my thing is this, I think they're going to call her Princess Diana in the movie. I don't think they're going to call her... What they call or, her, really, Princess Diana? That's her I name. Think, I don't think they're going to say that. It's her name. Her name is Diana, Princess Diana, and I'm her civilian that, name is Diana Prince. The uh, lady, the uh, rest in peace, Princess Diana, I don't think they're going to say that. I don't think they're it's saying it in the comics and in the cartoons. The comics here. and the cartoons are different from a live action movie. Those are different. Uh, they'll call her Diana Prince. How's that? I would say Diana. Well, they're gonna. Uh, no matter what context it is, they're gonna call her Diana. I, I'm, I'm just saying it. They don't have a problem with Diana, but Princess Diana. Some people in the UK might hate that. Despite the fact that she's been called that since like decades before Princess Diana was. Okay, you know. Come on now, stop acting like people. I know. Okay, I know people are stupid. I'm just saying she logically she was born decades before Princess Diana. We. No, people are stupid. Stop trying to defend people that are stupid. I'm not defending people that are stupid. I'm just saying if these stupid people look learned, it's stupid that they are stupid because I'm explaining why they're stupid. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, the thing is, I like the costume. I do agree with you that it should be a little brighter, but for the modern times, I think it looks fine. Yeah, for the modern times, it looks fine. I just wish that it would have been just a little bit more pop of uh, red and blue. Not a big pop, because I don't want it to look like the old Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. my thing is, here's the thing. Do we want the Linda Carter Wonder Woman? Yeah. We really, is. I think we've come, where it's like, I think just that compared to Batman's outfit and Superman's outfit in the movie would look really strange. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't want that outfit. I'm like, the thing is, Wonder Woman's a warrior. Why wouldn't she wear warrior attire? Yeah. Like, uh, heal Wonder Woman in Injustice. That outfit exactly. is awesome. Oh, it's badass. We compare a lot of things to Injustice. Yeah, because both oh. of us are playing it currently. Yes, well, it's you fantastic. Have it. 
Well, I, I own it, <laughs> and I've watched all of the stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but now I'm in Arizona, so I haven't had the chance to play it yet. But it is the first PS4 game I own. Good job. Uh, yeah, PS4. And I owned my PS4 months before I just finally bought a game. Uh, but the whole deal with this is, I will say, is in Batman vs. Superman, you can have her with her warrior look, and then Justice League, you give her a more super hero look. You give her the brighter colors to look more like a symbol of hope and peace and shit. Yeah. So that that's pr- I think it's a very simple transit. It's like look at Superman in Man of Steel. He wears very dark colors, very darker versions. Because in, he's adult, he, remember he's so much more adult than Marvel. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and those same people are the people who hate this movie. Uh, and in if you look at his poster for Batman vs Superman, the S is brighter. The red is bright, and yeah. it's, they're slowly making Superman look brighter, and I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. No. And, and no one can diss Henry Cavill as Superman. He's a good Superman. Uh, we should just have the guy from Smallville play Superman, and he'll Absolutely. never wear the outfit. Oh, my God. That is the dumbest bullshit ever. <laughs> basically, basically, here's what he wants to do. He wants to be Superboy. Just wear exactly. a t-shirt and jeans. But no, <laughs> but no, but no, 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 no. But the dude from High School Musical gets to be Superboy. Remember, Cameron? Remember? Have you seen those pictures of the of Lucas Graviel being Superboy? No, I haven't. It's fucking shit. It is fucking shit. <laughs> the very end of the episode where he's like, hey, Clark, I have an idea. And he opens up his shirt and he's got the Superboy shirt. I wanted to stab myself. <laughs> but then, hey, we can't, everything can't be Nolan North voicing something. So, yeah. Can you believe Nolan North voiced him? No. I love that man. I adore Nolan North. He's amazing. Um, is there anything? Do, is there any point in talking about Wonder Woman anymore? Uh, no. We want the invisible jet. <laughs> we don't. Okay, one I thing want we got to naked under a robe and the invisible jet. That is interesting. Oh my god! Because he's <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> extremely, extremely dirty. <laughs> Okay, so then we've got the Batman vs. Superman teaser, which is not online yet, but from description and from videos people have put on the internet, we pretty much know the footage. Yeah. So basically, we've got, we see it's raining on a rooftop really hard in Gotham, you've got that gritty feel, and then you see someone pull the tarp off of the bat signal, and you see Batfleck. And he's wearing the fucking armor bat suit from The Dark Knight Rises, which means we're getting multiple bat suits in a movie. Fuck yeah. And then you see him, and he turns on the bat signal, and you see it point at the sky, and you see Superman. He's pointing at a Superman, and Superman's got his fucking razor laser beams and shit eyes glowing red looking at him. And they just have a fucking stare down, and Batman has white eyes, which we've never really seen in the movies, except for a glimpse of it in The Dark Knight for, the like, two seconds. Yeah. But really, okay, so, Cameron, is this trailer not the coolest thing ever? Best movie of 2014, and it's only one minute long. I swear, if you... <laughs> that, that person who said that to you is so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. No, but this trailer is... Uh, no matter what... Everyone's saying this movie's turning out to be a disaster, but the more and more... Here, the more I think this movie's gonna be awesome. Yeah, same. And no one. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. We're on. Okay. Okay, so don't you agree that Ben Affleck's actually turning out to be a pretty good Batman? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I fucking love it, dude. I, I think he looks great in the bat armor. It's just awesome. You uh, cut out when you were talking about uh, Batman. Did I? Yeah. Oh, fuck, we have a couple technical difficulties. People, I apologize. Um, I think Ben Affleck looks awesome in this bat suit armor. Yeah. Don't you? Yes. Sir. Yeah, he's great. I feel like a dick about those technical difficulties. Uh, Mr. Mr. Technical Difficulties. 
Oh my god. I'm not going to say anything to that. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Batista, though. I think that's funny. Uh, so, what is that? We got Rachel Ghoul is going to be in Season 3 of Arrow. Yeah. All we've gotten so far is kind of a little teaser of a hand and, like, lines from Season 2. And, Cameron, since you're watching Season 2, I won't spoil it for you. Thank you. But I will say this. I'm fucking pumped, even though they haven't cast him yet. But who do you get this better than Liam Neeson? Adam West. Why would Adam West play Ra's al Ghul? Because Adam West is awesome. You have failed this city, Oliver Queen, more than you ever know. I'm Mayor West. That was a bad Adam West impression, wasn't it? Apologize. That was my worst tonight. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I'm fucking stoked because uh, uh, the League of Assassins were in Season 2 of Arrow, which isn't really a spoiler. Uh, so I'm I'm extremely excited to see Raz. Ra 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 Is it Ra's or Raz? Have we established this yet? No. They change Is it there every other week. They do. Is in there are cartoons where they say it's Ra's al Ghul. There is a movie where it's Ra's al Ghul. Need to decide. Yeah. I want to go to the president or CEO of DC and say what the fuck is his name? <laughs> Where's Harvey? That's what I'm gonna say to him. For some reason, I'm gonna be looking for a guy named Harvey as well. You know, just for funsies. I love the Dark Knight trilogy. So. Am I somehow extending this more than it should, besides Ra's al Ghul being in it is awesome? Kinda. And Ra's al Ghul being in it is awesome. Yes. Then we also got a trailer for Season 3 of Arrow. I haven't watched it yet. Don't watch it on Season 2. I'm not. But, okay, good. Because the first minute is nothing but spoilers. <laughs> but I will say this is, I think Season 3 looks awesome. And it, it's just, like season three. I, I think season three is going to be amazing. We had our first look at Arsenal. It, it, overall, all I'm going to say is this: is I think season three is going to blow people away because I think it's Stephen Amell is a great actor. There's going to be some interesting stuff with Diggle. It just looks awesome. Well, well then, hold on for a second here. Dandy Don, I heard your remarks. I don't appreciate that when I. When I get my super speed and my bow and arrow, you're going to apologize for what you said. Why do you have an issue with Dandy Don? Oh, because I don't. I didn't have an issue with Dandy Don until he going to say those remarks. Just because he's not interested in air, it, it's mostly the Flash. He thinks the Flash looks stupid. <laughs> Being a Dandy Don is a stupid name. Dandy Don. You're the one who made it. Dandy Don. I didn't say Did it. I didn't make it. Did you just yes you did you just send me a message of the douche from high school musical as Superboy? <laughs> you just sent me a message of the picture. You looked it up. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. And nonetheless, season three trailer for Arrow is awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I I, don't, I can't comment. But it, it well okay, Cameron. Here's your comment. It's awesome. It's awesome, people. It is awesome. So then we've got... Okay, this is the story I know you're dying to talk about. And we've been talking about it for a couple days now. Okay. Deadpool test footage. Ryan Reynolds! Please, please make your second comeback. People, the people, the world needs Ryan Reynolds. People, he is the most underrated uh, actor in Hollywood currently. People will eat their words when uh, Deadpool comes out and Ryan Reynolds is the star and he blows everybody off the water. Ryan Reynolds is the man that the world needs, okay? Strong words from strong, strong man. Nonetheless, four years ago, this was filmed. This is four years old and it is Ryan Reynolds. Uh, apparently, Deadpool was CGI in this. Well, then. Did you know... Did you notice that at all? I did. Well, kind of, sort of, but not really. I thought he looked cartoony, and that's the reason I thought that, I guess. Really? And well, because, yeah. I thought it looked pretty I lo good. No, I, by cartoony, I mean, like, you could tell it was not him. Really? Yeah. I thought it I was really good CGI. It is good CGI. I mean, I could tell it was CGI. That's what I mean. I see. Um... Like, I just thought it didn't look like it was a dude... Anyway, I think this is hilarious... 
I think it's fantastic. And I think that this test footage shows that Ryan Reynolds should play Deadpool. Yes. And I think this test footage shows that we need a Deadpool movie. And this footage shows that people want a Deadpool movie. And the creator of Deadpool, he's even gone to Twitter saying that, you know, I mean, we're probably going to make one. It's very likely. I not to. I don't have the direct quote, but he basically said if it comes out, it will be PG thirteen though. That I don't know. Okay, but here's the thing though. He did say, "Don't we under character and we know how to make him PG thirteen? We know how to keep him as Deadpool and make it PG 13 I see. So you never know. I think that could possibly work out. No matter how much I want R rated Deadpool movie. It's up to me and you to make it. I guess. Yeah, it's just us versus the world. And Ryan Reynolds against the world as well. And Faust. And Dandy Don. No. No Dandy yes, Don. Dan, Don, yes, Dandy Don. You're really butthurt about him not liking The Flash. Right? I am! I, I really You are so butthurt. I really am. You're gonna, you're gonna ask him about it next week, aren't you? You know I am! I know, I know you I are. Am. You're gonna ask, When we do Cam Center with him, you're gonna bring it up. I really am going to ask him about it. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. I did tell him it was awesome, so. And people, if you don't know, we're having Don Meredith, the quarterback for the Cowboys. Okay, that is not who he is. That is, no, no, that is not who, stop false advertising that. Um, no, my my dad is going to be on the sports show next week. Are we not having Dandy Don on the show, Cam Center, next week? He's nicknamed. You are the only person who calls him Dandy Don, first of all, and he is a Cowboys fan, but he is not former Cowboys quarterback Don Meredith. He is people. No, he is. Next week. My dad is no. My dad is not. He's going to tell us how it is to win a Super Bowl. My dad has never won a Super Bowl. He's never played. Opinion on the Cowboys. Why are we talking about sports? These nerds don't understand it. (laughs) <laughs> we're in wait, but we're nerds who do sports and comics podcasts because we're awesome. That's a good point. So then, this is the last real bit of news, I suppose. Evangeline Lilly is going to play Hope Van Dyne in the Ant Man movie, so she's going to be Michael, or she's going to be Hank Pym's daughter, and she's totally going to be Wasp. I want a Wasp movie. That is literally less relevant than a Squirrel Girl movie. That. Really? No one is gonna. I, no one's I don't gonna appreciate go, you dissing these people that I love. I, I'm not dissing them. I'm just saying no one's gonna go see a Wasp movie. And you say people are gonna go see a Hulk movie. Really? They will. They, okay. No one is gonna go see a Hulk movie. <laughs> yes, they are. The no Hulk is a popular character. The, the Hulk is a popular comic book character, Cameron. <sighs> popular. In the books, yes. Movie wise, no. no People movie love movie. the Hulk. Lufer no no, made the Hulk. Live Hulk. action Hulk movie. Yes, they are. You're not saying if they released history, it. Not with Hulk's history. Okay, but here's the thing though. Be proven in the Avengers, and we're going to prove in the Avengers Age of Ultron that we have an amazing Hulk. So why not? People, I think people will because his stock is really. Look at Thor. Thor's uh, stock, is risen. stock has not risen, and the only reason Thor's stock has risen is because Chris Hemsworth is hot. Uh, Mark Ruffalo is hot. No, he's not. Why are we discussing hot men? I don't understand it. But no, Mark Ruffalo, come on, the, the women like that look. They like that gruff look. No, they don't. Well, they do, but not on him. They like the green penis. No. You know they do. No. Speaking of, and the only the only Avengers character I don't think that should get a spin off is like Hawkeye. I don't think Hawkeye could pull off his own movie. Uh, you got to put him and Black Widow together, man. Oh yeah, I do. If you put him and Black Widow together, I think so. Yeah. And speaking, I would like them to go a little more in depth with their history as well. Yeah, you have to. Granted, I have not seen Winter Soldier, and I don't think Hawkeye was in that. Uh, I, I, it's a sin I haven't seen Winter Soldier yet, I know. I'm going to when it comes out, it, like, next weekend or something. But, like, ser- eh, I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, like, the people will go see a Hulk movie now because the Hulk is relevant again, and the Avengers have made him look good. Okay, whatever and, you say. And, hey, stop. are you really going to tell me people would go randomly see a Wasp movie? We're not even sure if they're going to see an Ant-Man movie, first of all. 
people are going to go see an Ant Man movie because Paul Rudd is one of the most underrated actors of this generation. Okay, do you think uh, people are going to go see They Came Together? What? Are people going to go see They Came Together? Yeah. No, they aren't. Yes, no they one are. is going to see that. No one is going to yes. see that. No one is going to see that shitty looking romantic comedy. They will. I love Paul Rudd, but it looks horrible. People love crappy romantic comedies. But crappy romantic comedies that look like have an appeal to them, like The Notebook. This has no appeal. It just looks shit. Are you sad that we can't talk about the SpongeBob trailer? Let's go ahead and do it. It's horrible. Is that it? Can we just say that? It's yeah. horrible. I mean, they uh, they do have on uh, superhero outfits, so I guess we can talk about it. Yeah, there you go. They have superhero outfits, so we can talk about it. It looks fucking Have you watched it? No, I haven't, but I'm just going to say it looks horrible. Dude, do you want me to tell you the plot of the movie? Sure. Okay, so and we're kind of done with news, so we can talk about this just for two brief seconds, just kind of discuss this trailer. Okay, so pirate who wants to find the page of some sort of treasure so he attacks bikini bottom until he gets it so then they go to the surface to find it, and they battle him in the streets well then and slash is in it as well okay so anyway uh since we're pretty much done with uh all of the news stories and stuff uh so cam uh, Wake, Darkly Dreaming Dexter, uh, The Hunger Games, and Incarceration. Did you finish Last Days of Krypton and Birds of Prey? Oh, uh, and Last Days of Krypton and Birds of Prey. So you literally missed the two comic book things? Possibly. Well, one isn't a comic book, but, you know, you get what I mean. So, um, I will say this, though, as far as my reading goes, uh, I just, uh, I've been reading Little Teen Titans. Interesting. Very interesting. I finished Volume 1 of Chew. Everyone should check that out. Uh, it's awesome. I'm about to read... A De- I'm going to read Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it's better than Wolverine versus the Marvel Universe. And, you know, I've got a bunch of comics to read and whatnot. I see. Anyway, uh, and nonetheless, feel free to hit the like button, favorite, subscribe. Go back and listen to all the other editions of CNC Comics. Uh, every week we have two movie reviews. Uh, this week, of course, there is going to be a bonus video. Like a lot of times, there will be a bonus video. Uh, next, this weekend, both of us are seeing Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. So next week, we're going to be reviewing it, which is going to be fucking hype yep. as fuck. It's going to be the hypest shit. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, and then uh, comment below and just say whatever the fuck you want to say. Like, if you want to go and say, oh, yeah, you agree with our opinions, you disagree, uh, we're awesome, we're fucking douchebags for thinking this. Uh, I'm a d- can- One thing, too, is do you – okay, here's a good question to put in the comments if you comment, which no one ever does. Uh, if you want to put in the comments, do you think the Hulk can carry his own movie at this point? Do you think Mark Ruffalo in the Avengers franchise has built up the Hulk stock? He and has. raised his stock. Yes, he has. No, he, he has. He, no, he, he has. has. No, he has. How is he not? Yes, he has. The only people that stock has risen is Captain America and Thor. Iron Man's stock isn't already at the peak ever when he's the most highest paid actor in Hollywood. Well, Iron Man's stock was already high before the Avengers movies. People love Iron Man. That's a good point. But the Hulk stock is on the rise. And after Age of Ultron, it's going to be higher than ever. No. Just wait for the Vision stock. It's going to be so big. We're going to get a Vision movie 2020 confirmed. He's my favorite hero. <laughs> anyway, like I said, uh, put whatever the fuck you want in the comment section. I'm not going to get rid of it unless it's to me. You won't. You know, if it really hurts. Yes, I will. This oh, is true. Won't. I will. Uh, but unless we had a fucking crazy week at Comic-Con, didn't we? We did. We did not go to Comic-Con. Well, I did. Nor... No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't? Yes, I did. You were in Louisiana last... You've been in Louisiana this entire last week. No. And neither of us were in the San Diego area uh, this last week. Why you message you any this weekend? You messaged me this weekend. Did I message you like I always message you? No, but I'm pretty sure you... If you were in San Diego, you would have been messaging me like a little girl, like, Oh my god, I just met Stephen Amell. No, I'll show you pictures of me meeting him. You did not mean to, you, you have, okay, nonetheless, uh, despite Cameron, uh, thinking he was at Comic-Con, um, I'm Caleb. I'm Cameron. 
and that's CNC Comics and Comic Con. I I couldn't think of a really good outro. So, uh, but bye.